To continue with what I was saying in my last video, there are many Christians who say that they are the good Christians, and they wouldn't actually do anything bad to people. They wouldn't willingly treat people poorly. And this is true. But the belief in the background, again, if you prod most of the people who proudly call themselves Christian, believe negative things about different groups of people. I'll go back to gay people. But they think that, well, it's up to God to judge them or something on that order. But they'll still have this negative belief. Now, I can make that statement about Christians, and it's not really met with that much friction. Some friction, but not much. I can state that the Westboro Baptist Church can back up their beliefs with a Bible. And I'm not going to be really given a hard time about that. People will say, well, you know, we, we don't have to follow all those, those things. Well, the Westboro Baptist Church doesn't either. You don't see them speaking against shellfish or wearing clothing of mixed fibers. So they pick and choose which things to follow in the Bible, which rules to shove forth, which things to shove forth as, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. You know, God hates fags, you know. But we have no, we, we can say that their beliefs are backed up with the Bible and we're not met with much issue. We know that their beliefs are backed up with the Bible. But most Christians choose not to be that nasty towards people. They may still believe that gay people are going to burn in hell for eternity, which is still kind of sad that they believe this, but they're not going to treat people like shit over it. Now let's move on to Muslims and Muslim terrorists. You're met with a bunch of friction when you say that Muslim terrorist beliefs are backed up with the Quran. Met with a whole bunch of friction, met with a whole bunch of drama. You get called a racist, an Islamophobe, just for stating that Muslim terrorist beliefs are backed up with the Quran. Strange how that works, isn't it? I always thought it was strange that people can say you know, that someone is racist for making that kind of statement. Now, I understand that there shouldn't be all this fear-mongering when it comes to anyone that's Muslim. Because just like with Christianity, you know, most Muslims, particularly the ones that are living in this country, are not going to do terrible things to people, are not going to treat people like shit. They're going to treat people with kindness most of the time. But they could have the same sorts of beliefs pretty easily if they wanted and do some of the same things as the Muslim ex extremists. And if you look at some of the things that Christians say about some of the extremist Christians say, I should say, the fundamentalist Christians, particularly some of the ones that are Republicans that are currently in office, they will say things like, well, you know, things should be based on God's law. just like some of the Muslim, more extreme Muslims that live in this country, 
say the very same thing about Allah. And we should be basing our laws off of Allah and the Quran. The thing is, if you make that statement, you're often met with that same sort of thing again. Oh, you're racist and you're an Islamophobe. So tell me, when is the last time you heard of someone who points out bad things that can be done in the name of Christianity as racist or Christianophobes, Christianophobes, or whatever the word would be? When is the last time you heard that as a response? You haven't really. Our fear of demonizing those that are Muslim in some ways is creating more Islamophobia, actual Islamophobia, than those that are actually not afraid to say bad things about what is written in the Quran the negative things that are written in the Quran. It's a strange thing. I still am a bit bothered by those who claim that we should allow uh, religious people, especially Muslims, bypass dress codes, health codes, and different things in order to not discriminate against their religion. You know, if a company has certain policies, they should be able to follow those policies. And if they, if people disagree with those policies, then we need to loosen them up for everybody. But there are some people who argue that it's okay to just loosen them up for religious people because they're religious. That still bothers me a lot. It shouldn't matter whether someone's deeply held beliefs are based on a religion or whether they're based on just someone's personal convictions, whether they're based on an ideology someone happens to follow that may not be religious. A deeply held belief is a deeply held belief. And for someone to put more weight on someone's belief simply because they happen to be their their belief is based on an organized religion i think that's crap but i'm going into things i've talked about before so i'm going to end this video